Bill Cross, the Bond King, the legendary Bond investor, said yesterday in a op-ed that the central bankers are destroying the engine of the real economy. There would be actually no effect if you look at Japan, for example, after they have taken historic steps to change growth, to change inflation, to get both up. Nothing really happened, Bill Cross says, so growth is not strong enough to be able to pay down debt um, uh, should monetary policy be normalized one day. So that has, n has had no effect and the bad thing and the sad thing also, uh, Cross says, is that investments by companies have never returned to their pre-crisis levels of 2008. Uh, companies are rather investing in uh, buying back shares than doing real investments in the real economy. In the United States alone, $500 billion of uh, stocks are being bought back. And uh, Bill Cross asks the question, uh, rightly so, um, why do companies not invest? So one of the reasons is that we have the aging societies, which means automatically that uh, there will be less consumption tomorrow. Then there is an anti-globalization trend. For one example is the exit of uh, the UK out of the EU. And then there might be, and that is really interesting, CFOs or chief financial officers um, of, of a lot of companies asking themselves if it is really interesting to get um, money for, for nothing, for no cost today. When that also, but that also could mean that if rates go back to normal, it could mean that in some years the same debt, which is for free today, could mean a lot, a lot of costs. So that is something that savvy CFOs and financial, uh, yeah, decision makers in companies are, um, or what motivates them to really not invest. Cross says that central bankers are very late to this logical conclusion and they need a change of filters and monetary policy uh, should be urgently uh, over or rethought or should be designed in a new way. That is what Bill Cross actually said and that is also what the Japanese government says, uh, or not, not the government but the uh, Japanese uh, central bank has said they had made a review of the current monetary policy and the results are that the reasons for the low deflation of, or for low inflation for the deflation and for growth not coming back is that the Japanese uh, society, the people there have the mindset of a deflation and they need something to change that mindset which will be interesting what that really means we will see in the coming weeks. The S&P 500 uh, is uh, truly very bullish right now. There is a strong uptrend. If you look at the open interest in the S&P 500 ETF call options, so the S&P 500 ETF, the SPY, the Spiders, is the largest ETF for the S&P 500. If you look at the open interest in call options, they have never been higher as in the past few days. There was uh, almost a panic buying in the S&P 500 and uh, yeah, that is a, uh, from a contrarian standpoint, a stark warning signal as is the newest sentiment uh, from investors intelligence. The investor intelligence survey uh, looks at dozens and hundreds of, uh, of, of paid newsletters. So those, those are semi-professional investors and they are of 54.3% of them are bullish, which is near the high from January. There, back then it was 53.4% um, bulls in that survey. And um, this survey shows that um, those bullish percentages above 54, 55% where we are right now could last for some weeks. But, but back then in January, December and January, there was a top in the US indices in equity markets and then they had made a major correction and right now we are back right there. Could go higher just by some percentage points but the flashing lights or the warning uh, flashing lights are uh, have turned red from a contrarian and sentiment standpoint.